Hello and welcome back. In this session we're going to look at attaching a wireless network to our existing wired network. Uh, so you can see here I've got a, a wired network set up with a router, a switch and a tree PCs hanging off it. Uh, let's, let's just uh, do a quick test of this before we do anything. I'm going to start a session running and just see if I can just ping uh, uh, one machine against another. So again I'll take uh, node 3 and destination node 5. I'll click run. There's the trace route. Click run for ping. And I can see it will ping perfectly there. Okay, so what do I want to do now? I'm going to add a wireless network. Uh, so first I'll stop the session running. Okay, because I want to add a new. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add three PCs, say, to the here just like this. I'm going to connect them to this router, uh, the, the, the router here. Okay, and what I'll, if you click on the link there nodes, I'll select wireless LAN and click on that. Okay, uh, now what I'm going to do now is configure this. I'll right click wireless LAN, okay, uh, click configure. Okay, and the first thing I can see here when I bring this up, um, I can see there uh, the version for subnet there is um, is a slash 32. Uh, okay, so it's a new network, uh, 192.168.1.0. I'm actually going to make this a uh, slash uh, 24 network. Uh, okay, 24. Uh, 24. Click apply. Now, there's another little configuration pop on this as well. I'll just show it to you. Uh, and it's this icon here. Uh, this icon, okay, so I'm going to make it here. Uh, this icon, you can see it here, is set 275. If I just move that left and right, when I have this running, it's going to change the actual, uh, uh, so, sorry, once I set everything to it, uh, I, I, I'll, I'll be able to set the actual range of the IP there. Okay, so let's um, uh, first add some Okay, so again, I could have got this to this from uh, configure, or uh, I could select WAN members, uh, either or. So again, if I select WAN members, it's going to ask me, well, who who's part of this? Okay, so the first one I'll select is N1, which is the router. Okay, and N6, N7, and N8. And I'll just click OK. And you can see here, it's applied the a little icon here to indicate that it's a wireless network. Okay, and it's 1.1, uh, uh, one .1, the gateway address here on this router. And I can see here the, uh, on each one, the, the IP address here is assigned to each of the, the wireless ones here. Again, I could have got to this from this uh, uh, one here as well, by just clicking choose LAN, uh, LAN member. And again, here's my range, and I can set the range. Okay, so the green circle here is showing the range uh, between each node. Okay, and the actual root, router there as well. So again, I can increase that range. Okay, uh, so I can increase the range there or decrease it depending on what I'm looking for there. So I'm going to set it for maybe something like that. Okay, so I can see. Uh, each one there, and I'll click apply. Okay, uh, now let's start moving. Uh, uh, I'll start moving these around to show uh, that I don't see a connection yet. But let's start a session running. Okay, so let's click run to run a session. Okay, and what can I see here? I can see uh, well again the original network here, my wired network. But again, I can move, and again, notice there when I move this PC closer to this, it makes a connection. Uh, to that because it's in range of it and if I move this one here I can see that's in a connection uh, there. Okay, uh, so what can I do? Uh, I'm going to run a ping test now. Just one second. Okay, so let me run a ping. Okay, so let's move that one over here, say. Okay, so uh, uh, I'll start off by 
the, uh, the first node, let's say, over here, and the second node uh, here. Okay, let's try to run a ping test. Okay, uh, there's, a, there's a trace route, and now let's run a ping, and we'll see there that it's pinging perfectly. Okay, close that. Let's see if I can ping now from the word network to the wireless network. Okay, so first of all, uh, again, I'm going to set my uh, emulator running. Uh, so let's click run. Uh, run. Okay, and here I'm going to set the first node at N3. And let's say the last node here, over here, at N7. Okay, let's click ping. Uh, let's click run. Okay, uh, and again, uh, let's see, host uh, uh, unreachable. Okay, let's take care of this now. Okay, so why couldn't this PC see this one over here, the wireless network? Okay, so let's run it again, just to have a quick look. And I can see uh, here uh, that this one, okay, in the absence of a, a, a switch, this PC here cannot directly see the router, okay? It, it's connected to this PC and this PC, okay? However, these two PCs are connected directly to the router, so therefore, if I ping from any one of these machines, it should run okay. Let's try that. Okay, so uh, I'm going to move this around. So my start node or source node, okay, my destination node uh, here. Uh, let's click uh, ping. Okay, so you can see there it's happily pinging away. Uh, but I couldn't, it wouldn't work when I got to this one, so therefore I'm going to have to move. I have a couple of choices here. I can move this within range of the router, uh, like so. So now there's a direct connection from the router to this one. Or else I could have used a bit of IP forwarding. Uh, we'll do that in another lesson now. Okay, so let's try this again now. So I do my one to two. Uh, okay, let's uh, destination or start by source node here. Uh, destination node N7. Okay, uh, let's click run. And you'll see there's my trace route. And if I run, you'll see it happily pinging away there. And there's the route. Okay, in the yellow uh, look there. Okay, uh, that's connecting a wireless network uh, to a wired. Okay, uh, thank you for your attention.